Hello friends, Father Frank Pavone here, National Director of Priests for Life, bringing you my daily diary segment for Tuesday, the 22nd of March of 2022. So I started early here at my desk and I went into the chapel, did mass for recording it for broadcast, caught up on various emails, had the morning administrative call at 7.45 and the staff briefing at 8.30. It was an extended staff briefing because we have various members of our pastoral team here from out of town and gathered on Zoom. And so we heard from our international department, for example, about our our work uh, at the United Nations and other other international initiatives. Uh, Father Dennis Weil, our associate director, gave an update of his trips, as did I, to the staff. And then um, we reviewed just some internal practical things. That was from 8.30 to 9.30. At 9.30, I met with uh, various staff in regard to um, data issues and uh, the importance of 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 capturing information on the um, uh, on the the people give us about themselves and that have better helps us to help them and we store that information carefully uh, on our databases and so we went over some um, new things in regard to that that was from nine thirty to ten at ten I went into our TV studio together with Janet our executive director and we taped for about fifty minutes some segments about our publications, our books. And these are this is a new little program called Book Bites. And uh, you'll be seeing that on social media and on our website as we introduce people to the various publications that we have um, published. Then uh, 11 o'clock, an administrative meeting for an hour with our uh, executive director and our vice chairman. Again, planning. Our, our various pro-life initiatives and projects, followed by lunch with the staff and the pastoral team in the cafe. Then uh, came to my desk, did various um, email work, the Abortion uh, Recovery Coalition, uh, inter intersecting with some of them, planning for Abortion Recovery Awareness Month, which is the month of April, and our initiatives in regard to that helping our team to uh, get our next newsletter ready. I did some work on that. Uh, wrote and uh, sent out a revised leader's statement. We're working on the joint statement about the uh, upcoming Dobbs Supreme Court case. I, I sent that out to the leaders. You'll be seeing that published uh, pretty soon. Conservative Leaders Summit is coming up in May. I responded that for with my attendance. For that, the upcoming 115 Forum Leaders Meeting that we coordinate next month did some work on that. And uh, we are uh, working on bringing on a studio intern, and I did some work in regard to that. 1.30 in the afternoon, I taped our evening program, Praying for America. Uh, and then uh, had a number of staff meetings in the mid to late afternoon, for example, with our website developers, with our resource department, we saw our new exhibit booth. We're going to the Heartbeat International Conference next month, and we set up here in our volunteer area our new booth. They showed me that. It really looks great. Uh, meeting with our social media developer about some new inroads that we are making on some other platforms on social media. Met together with... Uh, uh, the resource department, technology department, and um, and um, social media department uh, to 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 talk about some new inroads, also into making known the resources, the pro life resources that we uh, that we produce. There's a lot of tips and tricks of the trade, so to speak, to be recognized more on the search engines for people out there that are looking for uh, pro life materials online. And then we brought the staff together at about 4.30 for a fun, a fun moment. We, uh, we had a little toast together about our podcasting because our podcast reached over a million uh, views and we, uh, or listen, plays rather, I should say, and we celebrated um, that. Uh, at 5.30, I took some of our pastoral team uh, out to dinner. We had dinner together with our executive director and various members of the team. And uh, once that dinner was done, I came back and I had a uh, 
extensive phone conversation update at the end of the day from 8.30 to 9, about 9.10, with our chief uh, technology officer who also helps with overall management of uh, the ministry. And that brought the day to a close, did some quiet uh, work and prayer before, uh, before going to bed. This was Tuesday, the 22nd of March, 2022. So thanks for following these updates. Lots of good activity, as you can see, with lots of good people that the Lord has put on our team. Thank you for your involvement in this great effort of Priests for Life.